Quiet on the set. Action. what's up guys welcome back to my channel naturally chill pill and today i am going to talk about my beauty con experience is it worth the hype should you go next year what did i get so i'm going to discuss all that in today's video all right y'all so i'm going to start off with my experience at beauty con um, prior to, I was very excited. I've always wanted to go to BeautyCon. I always seen vlogs about it and see my favorite YouTube talk, YouTubers talk about it. So being so close to where the event was, why not go this year? Well, initially thinking that going to the event, you'll get a lot of free products, makeup, beauty stuff. So that was definitely worth the money in my head prior to BeautyCon. Actually, when I bought the tickets, I found out probably the week of BeautyCon that, thanks, shout out to Naya and shout out to Jade and shout out to Sally Beauty for inviting me to be one of the demonstrators of the Cuff Puff. And I actually have it right here. The Cuff Puff. So they are available on Sally Beauty. You can follow Cuff Puff on Instagram to get more details, but this is how it looks. So definitely follow their social media and go to the website to see how the Cuff Puff works. So that's pretty much, um, well, I had access to go to the event early and see all the vendors and brands already while they were setting up before the crowd came. So while I was walking around, as you see in my vlog, if you have not seen my BeautyCon vlog, please go see that. And I'll put a little cue card, information card in one of these sections here so you can go see that. Finally, when everybody came, finally when the crowd came, it was crazy. Specifically on Saturday. Lines were ridiculously long for brands that gave out very small samples or you have to do so much to get free stuff, meaning you have to take a picture, you have to hashtag, you have to add them, you have to show them a picture to get one product. And I understand you have to advertise for their brand and whatnot, but at the same time, it's just like, this is BeautyCon. A lot of people pay way more money than, you know, general admission to just get something very small. The second thing that, um, that I kind of didn't like was the influencers. Like they had a section for the influencers. They had a VIP section and they had like a little photo booth for them as they walked through. And then on the other side, it was real for people to take pictures and, you know, see them walk through, which is really nice and really cute. And I understand once you come up to a certain extent in the beauty community, especially as a YouTuber or an influencer, yes, you're going to get certain privileges. But the ones who say, hey, I'm coming to BeautyCon, excited to see you all, you really didn't see them. Like they'll stay in a VIP section and either wouldn't come out or they'll come in and come out for a second. Now it's mayhem because everybody now sees them, want to take pictures with them and they'll leave. So it wasn't like they was like floating around to the to the brands that, um, that they mentioned on their channels and stuff, brands that they work with. And especially being in a space where um, a lot of these people look up to you and a lot of these people pretty much are excited to see you and just to see them just go not everybody not every influencer did this just some of the ones that i've seen you know throughout the time do that that was a little bit you know i didn't really like that seeing them just go in and come out and seeing all their fans and supporters outside you know pretty much excited to see them so those were pretty much the main two things that i did not like about BeautyCon. On Sunday was a little better. The flow was much better as far as lines and things like that. But Cardi B was one of the celebrities, one of the big celebrities that BeautyCon was very excited to have for the event on Sunday. So she came, mind you, BeautyCon ends at six and it began at 10. She was supposed to come around four, way before six and Fashion Nova had her face plastered all around the the brand just her face because she's you know big into Fashion Nova and she supports them as well 
So she came very, very late and it wasn't her fault as she explained that she was overbooked and she had to catch another flight from Vegas. So the, I really appreciate her for at least explaining why she was late instead of just coming in. And a lot of people were very upset. A lot of people was not putting their life at risk, but were really violent and as far as like seating arrangements and where to sit, where to stand. So that was kind of crazy um, as far as like it being on Sunday. Now I'm gonna go into what I got from Beautycon. I'm gonna start off with beauty things. So this is one of the products that they gave away, which is their um, tattoo studio. It's like a pomade for eyebrows. So this is really cute. L'Oreal, they gave out the full size lipstick, their new lipstick. I don't know what this is called. Oh, this is called Worth It, and I actually have it on. Today, it's not as vibrant as it is in a tube, but it's just a light red color. I did not line my lips or anything. This is the true color on me. And also I have Create, which is like this mauve, pink, blushy color. It's really cute. And I like the fact that um, the people that work there, they had the colors on. So you can see how it looks in different shades and different tones. Also, this is what I bought. I bought the Lip Bar. It's a black-owned um, makeup company. They sell it in Target. So I just got the clear color, which is in Minimalist. I got that. And the other color I have is like a brick red color, and I'll feature it right here. The, what is this? I think this is a, oh, this is a liner in a green color. A liner so this is something cute to have fun with in the spring i also have a maxi blush and i'm not sure how this is going to look on me this is very pink this is wild card so they pretty much gave everybody like the same thing but in the future i would love for brands to have a range of different colors and things to give out for people of different shades and undertones that would be cool we're going to move on to the hair products. But one of the brands that I really, 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 really appreciated because um, on Sunday, it, they had a long line. So they had the people, like the workers actually come up to the people and give them samples because they were giving away like the big good stuff, which is what another thing I appreciated from Palmer's. And I actually used this one on Sunday. This is a Natural Fusions Chai C Argan Oil Hair Mask. I really love the smell. And as you can see, I used a lot. And this was all on my first time. This one's really good. So I do recommend this one. I tried this one. This one's really good. I never tried the Coconut Oil Curl Styler Cream Pudding. This is the actual size that they gave away. And as well as the Flex Seed Gel. This is the Olive Oil Formula One. Got this for free as well as I am. Been using as I am products for a very long time, specifically their co-wash. I never tried the Long and Lux Grow Wash. It smells really good. Got this one for free. They gave this one out as well as the Long and Lux Grow Yogurt Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm excited to try these two so this is what i actually purchased because the deal was really good you get three any three products that they had for twenty dollars which is a really really good deal especially for natural hair products because the stuff is expensive i got the conditioner and it smells like candy it smells really good and i love the fact that it has a pump anything that has a pump i am for this is, I think this is something new on their line. The Papaya Caster, that's the line that it is. And this is a nourishing, nourishing, nourishing curl gem. This smells really good. As well as the Split and Repair Mask by Eden. Oh, also from Palmer's, I got Edge Control. This is the Coconut Oil Super Control gel for edges so palmer's really blessed the people i really do enjoy and appreciate palmer's last but not least and there is a catch to shea moisture i am very 
disappointed in Shea Moisture. Because with being a supporter for years, like years, 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 they only gave you one product. You have to wait in a long line. That's probably like 30 plus minutes. You have to take a picture. You have to do a hashtag. You have to add them. You have to show them and then pick within, I think two different lines, which was the Jamaican black castor oil line and the coconut oil line. Also, Eco Salad Gel was there. I love miniature things. I love miniature things. So cute. They gave me the olive oil shea and shea butter black castor oil. That's my fool. As well as the cannabis brand. All right, y'all. So I have a special guest that also attended BeautyCon. So if you can please welcome my guest. Oh, let me get you a seat. Jesus. Also, I failed to mention, I just seen this. It's just a lot going on. Fashion Nova gave out these really cute, um, what is this called? Fanny, fanny packs. packs. They gave away these fanny packs as well as these shirts, these like onesie shirts. I got two because I got it like that. With this being your first year going to BeautyCon NYC, what was your impression based off that one day you, you were there? Um, The one day, no, the one day that I was there, I mean, definitely, um, you know, definitely was expecting you know, a lot of beauty products, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it was cool seeing a lot of, a lot of beautiful, I like I like the fact that there's a lot of beautiful black women in one place together, all you know, liking the same thing. You feel me? So I like seeing you know our people happy. Uh, but but it, it was it was very mixed, very diverse crowd. Um, seeing some of my favorite Instagram models was really cool. Um, I definitely think BeautyCon should have like a boyfriend section. Um, you know, I know you have a lot of beauty stuff for the girls, but I think they could have had some beer products. I think that should, that should be something they should look for, uh, look towards to for the guy, girls to bring their boyfriends or guys who just you know want to be, you know, skin, beard, hair, nail, or influencers like myself. <laughs> um. So basically, my second question was, what would you change? And you pretty much mentioned that how you would want more men related, um, uh, men related like brands for men to come and stuff like that. So what was your highlight from being at BeautyCon? I was sleeping. Huh? No, uh, I want to done, I can answer some more on that change question. There's, there's a little more. That's okay. Change. Like you just said, that. You, you answered it. So what was the highlight of your experience? Um, the highlight of my experience, um, um, <laughs> <For sleep. laughs> no, um, <laughs> no, real talk. I, I guess I enjoy watching you, you know, network. Like, I like seeing you in that type of environment. You talking to, you know, other different, um, other different beauty or stores, whatever the people that was there, the vendors, mm -hmm. watching you connect with them, like going back to them, knowing their name, introducing me. That was really cool watching you work. So, I guess, you know. Watching you network, I really watched it. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And I enjoyed you for being there. Yeah. That just concludes my video. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, this was based off my experience. Everybody else's experience may be different. But will I go next year? We'll see. Only if I'm going for free. Uh, hit me up, <laughs> Sally's. Hit me up. Um, all these brands that I mentioned, I would definitely wouldn't mind being an ambassador for you all. Hopefully you guys have subscribed by now and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.